we're here having fun today. That is what we're doing here today. We are having fun. You too can have fun. Come on out and join us. We'll play with you. We have live jousting, real full contact jousting. We have falconry where we actually have falcons and eagles and birds released in the air and they come back to the, the falconer. It's, it's interesting. It's educational. We have candle making, sheep shearing. We have, we have a little sheep that you can pet and chickens and, and we have jugglers and comedians and storytellers and shops. We have over 140 shops that you can shop at. You can get a real sword. You can't buy that ev everywhere, but you can get real swords. You can get clothing, jewelry, perfume. You can just come. You don't have to buy anything. You can come and have a good time just watching the show and talking with the people going by. And we've gotten a bigger this year. It's 16 acres of fun. There's 16 acres that you can walk around, meet the villagers, talk. You can meet Queen Elizabeth. Queen Elizabeth herself is here. You can come talk to her. It's really, really cool. It is our festival. It is in honor of us. So we will be in this area for, I do believe, a month and some. May have a month and two weeks extra. This is a family event. Absolutely. You can bring the children. We have puppet shows. We have a playground just for kids. We have the merry-go-rounds that are manpower. We don't even have motors and other things to do it we just have people in the swinging rides and we have stuff for adults stuff for kids it is fun we actually have a full contact joust unlike a lot of stuff you see on tv where they, they have exploding lances and stuff we actually take the impact right on the chest plate and it's a real honest to goodness joust and then and then we take fun after that and we jump off of horses and sword fight and, and all kind of but it's real jousting we have it twice a day i say if you come early spend the entire day you can catch the joust twice if you like. See it once, catch the bird show, lots of shows. There's 50 shows every single day. You cannot see them all. Come, pick out the ones you like the most and have fun with it. For somebody who hasn't been here before, you're gonna get a venue you've never seen before. You'll get uh, entertainment that you won't see anywhere else. You'll see crafts and uh, items that you won't be able to find in a shopping mall or on catalogs. Uh, it's a very unique and different environment, very family friendly, lots to see, lots to do. And then there's us, and who doesn't love us? You're missing out on a good bet if you haven't been here before then. This is a lot of fun. We've got good weather going, so it's a good time to be here. Maybe when it gets a little cooler, it'll be better, but you know, it's still a good time to be here now. It's a great time. There's a lot of good things going on, a lot of people to see. I would really encourage people, if they have the chance, to dress up, because it's much more fun when you're dressed up than to come just in street clothes. But if that's all you can manage, then by all means, be here. I like everything. I love everybody being all dressed up. It's really fun. You get a lot of different aspects. The people that generally come out to the Ren Fair from all over the country, uh, they generally travel from state to state doing different Ren Fairs. Um, some people are local, though not most. This is a new experience for me. I wasn't sure what to anticipate, and it's, it's friendly. There's half that are dressed in costumes, half that are just in regular clothing. They welcome everybody here in open arm. My daughter got married again, you know, she had an awesome wedding here. Um, there's a peninsula here at the Renaissance Festival in Hammond and it's real awesome, it's fun. Um, everybody's friendly. There's a lot of booths here, uh, uh, over 140, and we have ones that do authentic demonstrations, like we have a Cooper Smith who makes barrels and wooden mugs and he takes these slats of wood, puts them together without glue and they hold water. And I'm like, what? How do you do that? Well, come ask him. He'll, he will tell you. It's interesting. The blacksmith, we show you how to make a sword. We show you how to make pewter smithing. We have candle making. We have um, lots of different booths. Hat makers, foot, boot makers. They wear footwear. You can get footwear. You can get kilts. You can get shirts. You can get dresses. You can get headgear. You can even get your hair braided. There's some ladies over there that actually do the, the weaving from scratch. That actually go through the wool and spin it. That's, that's neat to, to look at them, watch them, watch them do it from, from the get-go. We have, I think, six restaurants on site. So we have all kinds of food for the big old turkey leg, for the men, as well as, um, as well as food that, you know, the ch children want. You know, if they want a hot dog or a hamburger, we have that. And, uh, and a few other things come, check it out. There's some variety there you might not have heard of before. It's a small festival, but it's a growing festival. Everyone who comes has a good time, there's a lot of good shows, there's plenty to eat and drink, and by all means, it's, uh, if you like to come and watch the people, by all means, come and watch the people, because there's, there's some things to see here. It's a fine place to come. I love it. It's, it's, it's a lot of fun. They have a lot to do here. I think it's fun. I like riding all the rides, 
and um, playing all the games that they have. My favorite game was to do the maze. You had to find your way out, but the out is the entrance. And I think it's fine. It's educational for the children. It's shopping if you want to get some really unique holiday things. And it's entertainment. There's more entertainment here than you can possibly see in, in, in a week, much less in a day. So it's always fun to come. You can set, you can hear the music that's playing in the background. That's an actual hammer dulcimer from the era, and you can ask him about it. He's more than willing to explain his musical instruments. So you can come, have a leisurely day, and still learn a lot of information and have fun like you've, you've never had before. It's friendly. I just don't know what else to say. It's just totally different. You don't feel like you're in Louisiana. You feel like you're somewhere in France or in Europe, in Italy somewhere. It's, it's awesome. The favorite part is just walking around, seeing all the different people, the shops, uh, getting to dress up as a character you want to be and acting however you want. There's so much going on here. It's everything's so awesome. I really just don't know what to pick as my favorite thing. Like I love all the costumes that you can buy and the food and all the uh, shows and stuff. It's great. <laughs> Everybody's got a great sense of humor. Um, everybody's really nice. I've never, I, I think, I've visited a couple of times last year, and this is my first time this year, so it's, this is their first day. Uh, and everybody's just always pleasant. They just, they try and make it great. The hugs from the children. That is, that is my favorite part, actually. I love the finery and getting to meet my subjects and having fun and playing, but getting a hug from a child, mayhap, is what touches me the most. I would definitely inform everybody in this area in Louisiana or where else in the United States to come back and enjoy this. It's different, it's beautiful, and it's throughout the November, every Saturday in November. Come on down, have fun.